So I want to show you a really, really good method to make money with affiliate marketing. This is a very, very unique method that you probably haven't seen anywhere else. All right, so let's get started. Let me show you exactly what you need to do. And so if you go in here, you can go into Google Trends and you type this term, you're going to see a slow kind of optic. And as you're well aware, this is a really, really good place and a good time to start promoting this specific niche because... You know, last year, this was really, really low. And now it's really on the uptick. And this is all relative, right? So when it was low here, the fact that it's a lot higher here is a lot. It means a lot. And I'm going to show you a really, really unique method to promote it. It's completely white hat. It's completely legit. No click bank, no max bounty. You don't need to be approved for any programs or anything like that. It's a truly, truly unique method. Just follow my instructions. And listen exactly what I'm about to tell you. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open a Google Sheet. Okay, so I have this travel app here. And you can just call it travel, right? And you want to create four sheets, okay? Just to start with, you can create more sheets, less sheets later on. Just listen to when, when I explain to you. And you're going to call these, uh, these names. So we have this intro, we have C, we have eat, and we have sleep, okay? And so for the intro, you want to create two columns, city and text, for the C, city and text, basically the same thing all over the place, okay? And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a really great site called Wiki Voyage, okay? And this is a free travel site. We're going to be using the site for our own method, okay? So if you type a city such as San Francisco here and you click English and you click search, right you're gonna get a really nice article about san francisco okay and what we want to do is we want to copy this text first we're gonna copy it we're gonna go back to the sheet and we're gonna type san francisco here san francisco and this is the text i just copied and pasted it. all right so now we have san francisco and we have the intro you want to do that for a couple of other cities as many as you want so for instance if i go back here and i type san diego now i'm focusing on californian cities just to keep it, you know, nice and organized. You can obviously target a different country, a different region, etc., etc. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go back here. We're going to type San Diego here. And we're going to enter this text. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to copy. You can copy some more. You know, what I typically like to do is I like to copy this whole intro paragraph here. We're going to go here. We're going to copy. And then we are going to go back here and copy this last last paragraph, okay? So I'm going to select this right here, and I'm going to copy that, okay? So now we have the same thing. Let's do one more city just to show you, but this is the same method you can do for all cities. I'm going to do uh, Santa Monica. Focusing on Californian cities, like I said, you can do any other country that you want. And so this is what I have here. This is our intro. Okay, very, very small intro. We're going to put Santa Monica. So we have Northern California, we have Southern California, and then we kind of have Central California. All right, so now we're done. Next thing, we want to go into C. So I'm going to go into San Francisco. I'm going to put San Francisco here. I'm going to put San Diego here. I'm going to put Santa Monica. And then I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to... And what I want to do is I want to go into C. So I can choose it here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose it. And there are all the places that you can see. And what I'm doing is I have a plugin called Scrape Similar installed. If you've seen my previous videos, you have probably seen me using this plugin. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go into Scrape Similar. And right away, I get this nice list of 14 points. We're going to copy to clipboard. We're going to go back to our sheet. And we're going to paste it here. Okay, perfect. Now, as you can see, this is multiple lines here. And that means what you want to do is instead of doing it this way, you want to just delete this row very, very easy. This is actually a much better method. And you're going to type San Francisco here. And you're going to extend it. Very, very simple. You can delete this. This is going to be San Diego. We're going to do the same thing for San Diego. We're going to go in here. I'm going to do San Diego. And now we have San Diego. I'm going to pick C. And we have C, right? A couple of combinations, zoological. And so there's an option to go to districts. I'm just going to pick that. I'm going to do right uh, scrape similar. 
and I'm going to copy it. And these are the areas that I can, see, I can view. Another thing that I can do is I can right click this and do scrape similar. And so what I can do is I can right click this, scrape similar, and now we have all the best areas that the person can go out and see. We're going to go back here and we're going to paste them here. Okay, we're going to delete all this, delete all this. And now we have San Diego. Now we have now you want to move this up real quick. And now you want to copy this San Diego down. Okay, and let's do Santa Monica. Santa Monica here. Uh, let's do the same thing. Let's go back here. Santa Monica. I'm going to copy that. We're going to go into C. And what do we have? We have three things. Okay, in this case, it's three things. That's fine. I'm going to scrape similar and we have a list. What the other thing that you can do is you can do scrape similar, but you can remove this B. If you do that, you have a full list right here. You have a lot of things that they can see. So we're going to copy this. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it. Okay. We're going to delete this. You got to fix it up just a little bit. There have some coordinates here. It takes like one second. You can delete this. Believe me, it's going to be very, very well worth it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And I'm going to say we're going to move this up. All right. So now we have we have all this stuff for C. I'm going to just do eat real quick. San Francisco. I'm going to do San Francisco. I'm going to do eat real quick. You can do it for the same city. So if you're just doing San Francisco, you can do the same. But I'm just going to do eat. I'm going to type San Francisco. I'm going to go in here to eat. And what do I have? I have a list here. So I'm going to do scrape similar. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it. So what I can do is I can paste it here. I can delete this first row and then we have San Francisco. I'm going to do the same thing. Copy. Then we have San Diego. I'm going to go in here. San Diego real quick. Do San Diego. We're going to go into what do we have eat. I'm going to do scrape similar. And now I get the types of foods that you can eat. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paste it. Delete the first row. Delete the row. We have San Diego. All right. You can probably expand on it a little bit. And last but not least, let's do Santa Monica. We're going to do Santa Monica. We're going to go in here. We're going to go into eat. All right. We're going to do this scrape similar. Fix it up a little bit. All right. Now we have a listing. We're going to copy this. We're going to go back to Santa Monica. Paste this, delete this, delete this row. Going to fix it up, these coordinates. And there you have it. Now you should do the same thing for sleep. I'm going to do that a little bit later. But right now I want to show you the next step of this method. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to head to adalo.com. You're going to create your free account here. I already have a free account. Once I log in with my free account, I have this option here. What kind of app do you want to make? We're going to make a native mobile app. I'm going to click next. We're going to choose a blank template branding. I'm going to call this travel app. Then we're going to hit create and we're going to create a really, really simple app. So what you're seeing here is a bunch of screens. We're not going to use sign up and we're not going to use login. We're just going to have something like this. We have our home screen. Maybe we can drag it right here. And what you want to do is you want to configure this app. This is going to take just a couple of minutes. Very, very simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to add a tab bar. OK, we're going to go in here. We're going to search for a tab bar. We're going to drag and drop that. And now we have a tab bar. Now the tab bar we're going to configure. The first tab is going to be home where we have different cities. OK, the second tab is going to be C. This is the different things you can see in each city. So I'm going to go to the second tab and I'm going to type C. OK, remember, it's kind of like what we have here. We have intro C eat sleep. So I'm going to go in here and this is going to be C. The next step we have eat. And then the last but not least, we're going to have sleep. OK, this is our third tab. We're, we don't need the fourth and the last tab here. We don't need that. We're going to do that. And so in this screen, we want to display the city. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to do a simple list. I'm going to drag that here and they could pick a city. 
So we have a city. Now, before we can do that, we need to go into database and we need to create a collection. So this first collection is going to be cities. Okay, the next collection is going to be uh, different things that you can see in each of these cities, right? C, you can do that. This is another collection. Uh, another collection that you can have could be um, eat. Okay, this is like food, whatever you want to call it, and then sleep, or you can call it hotels, right? It's really up to you. So the cities is we have the name property. That's just it. We only have the name. We, we don't really care about the country or anything, just the city name. For the C, we need the name of the actual C thing, and we also need a city, right? We also need a relationship. What we're going to do is we're going to create a relationship, right? So we're going to go to relationship, into cities, a city can have multiple C's. A C belongs to one city. Perfect. And same thing to eat. We're going to create a new property, a relationship, uh, two cities. A city can have multiple eats. Perfect. And then for sleep, same thing. We're going to add a property, relationship, cities, first option here. And now, this is the best part. We're going to import the cities. So you're going to click on the zero records and you're, you can import the CSV. Now, before you can import the CSV, you need to go to your Google Sheet and you need to go into intro and you need to export this. So I'm going to go file, download, uh, comma separated value, CSV. It saves it on my computer here. I'm going to go to travel app. I'm going to import this. I'm going to put it in here. And then we have the name of the city. It also has a text column. The text column is none. We're not using that right now, right? So we're just using the name of the city. We're going to import data. And now we have all of this data here. We don't have sees and eats and sleeps just yet, but we're going to have that in one second. So next you're going to go in here and you're going to download C. So I'm going to go file, download, comma, separated values, eat. I'm going to go file, download, comma, separated values. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to my app. I'm going to go into C. I'm going to go into import. I'm going to go import CSV. This is my C. I'm going to drag it here. City is city. Text is name. That's fine. That's perfect. I'm going to import my data. We're going to see if that data is correct. And now you have the name of the C and then the city. And this is all going to be linked together perfectly, right? So if you go into cities, you're going to see that the Santa Monica has 3 C, San Diego 10 C, San Francisco 14 Cs, which is perfect. Next, you're going to go into eat. You're going to click here, import it, drag and drop this eat here. Uh, text name, that's perfect. And we don't really have the sleep just yet. We're going to have that later. And now what you want to do is you want to display the cities here, right? So I have this first screen. I'm going to say, what is this a list of? A list of cities, and it immediately fills it its city name. It also creates kind of this subtitle. We're, we don't really need the subtitle. We just need the title, which is the city name. Let's see if it's working right now, okay? Let's see if our app is working. We're going to hit preview, and we should see our cities here. Okay, these are our cities. Now, when they click on the city, we want to display the, the information about the city. We want to go into C and sleep. So if they click C, they're going to see various things having to do with the city, okay? So what we want to do is we're going to select this. We're going to copy and paste this. And this is going to be, uh, it's not going to be home two. It's going to be C, different thing C. We're going to copy and paste this again. And this is going to be sleep, right? So we're going to go in here and we're going to call this sleep. Okay, so now they can see things and they can sleep. Uh, oh, we have eat. So we're going to say eat. Okay, we actually have data for eat. So we're going to call this eat. And we're going to change the sleep. This is this third tab here to eat. Because that's what we have, C and eat. C, eat, this is going to be second tab, third tab, eat. Okay, and same thing here, C and sleep, third tab is going to be eat. Okay, so now if they click on C, they're going to see, so this thing is going to be the default tab, is going to be C, right? So active is going to be second tab. This is active is going to be uh, third tab. And now if they click on C here, they are going to see all the things that they could see about that specific city. So I'm going to pick this. This is going to be a list of C. And then filter is going to filter by the city, 
right? So by the city that they pick. So if we click this, right? If they click on this, so if we're going to go here, we're going to add an action. We're going to say, we're going to create a link to C. Okay, so if they click on this, they're going to go in here and it's going to filter it by the city. So we're going to go back here and we're going to say all C, current city C, okay? And same thing here. If they click on this, right? If they click on the C, and so if they click on the city, it's going to go to C, but we can also add another button. If you scroll down, you have the right section. So we're going to go to the right section and we're going to make this eat. So maybe something with food. I'm just going to pick a random icon here. You can change that later. So let's say this guy here, let's say he's all about eating. If you click on this, it's going to go into eat. But if they click on the icon, it's going to go into C. Very, very cool, right? So take a look at this one we have our action here, right? We have our action here and we're going to add an action. It's going to link to eat, right? And now this is going to link to eat and we are passing this current city here, which is perfect. And now this thing, this is going to be a list of eat and then filter by current city eat, okay? And this is exactly what we want. So take a look at this one. We're going to go in here. We're going to say, this is C. We're going to take a look at what's the title, C name. And this is going to be eat name. We're going to go into title. And this is going to be eat name. I'm going to hit preview. And so if they cl if I click on this, it's going to go into this first screen, right? We have the C. I'm, I can go back to home, right? Well, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to fix that later. But if I run that again, take a look at this one. I run this, but I click on this. It's going to go into eat. And now we have various, various restaurants here. So I do want to add sleep just because I think it's important. I'm going to create a fourth tab. I'm going to call this sleep and I'm going to show you why that is important. I'm going to create a fourth tab. This is going to be sleep. All right. So now I'm going to copy. I'm going to make another screen here and the default tab is going to be a let's see active active tab is the fourth tab. OK, we don't really have five tabs. And now this is perfect. And now what we can do is take a look at this one. We can have another action here where this could be another link. And this shouldn't be E2. This should be sleep, right? This should be sleep. And we can actually even, so we have various settings here. Take a look how beautiful. We can add another action here. We can add another action. This could be a link to sleep, okay? We can have a link to sleep now. And last but not least, you want to fill out the sleep. I'm going to do this really, really quickly. So you can do San Diego. Let's say we have three hotels for San Diego. I'm going to show you this. And this is going to be Hotel 1, Hotel 2, Hotel 3, San Francisco. I'm going to do three hotels for San Francisco. And I'm going to do three hotels for Santa Monica. We have Hotel 1. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Now you can get these hotels at uh, on this page as well. So if you go into sleep, you have all of these listings and you can just use the same method that I was getting the other data. It works the exact same way. And now we're going to download this file. I'm going to download it. And the other thing you want to have is you want to have the URL of the hotel, right? So they can book it. And this is where we're going to be making money. So we're going to go in here. I'm going to paste this. These are going to be the URLs and I'm going to show you in a second where you can get the actual affiliate links that you can promote. So we're going to go into file. We're going to download as a CSV. This is going to be our sleep. We're going to go back to our app. And we're going to go into sleep here. We're going to go here, import CSV. And we are going to drag and drop it. Travel sleep. And now we have the URL. Okay. So the URL, we also need the URL. So what I'm going to do is before I import it, I'm going to create a new property called URL so that we can link it correctly. Import it right here. And now we have the we have the city, we have the name of the hotel and we have the URL. I'm going to import all that. We're going to go in here. This table has nine records, three for each of the three cities. Let's set this up correctly. Let me explain to you exactly what you need to do. We're going to create a brand new screen and I'm going to call this the detail screen. This is where, the, this is where it's going to show information about the city. So instead of home, this is going to display city, city name. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to go in here 
I'm going to create a link. So if they click on it, this is going to be a link. A link to the detail, okay? And we're going to pass current city here. And then it's going to show the actual information about the city. So I'm going to delete this. And this is going to say, say the current city. The title is going to say uh, the current city, current city name. That way we know the city. And then I'm going to add a text. I'm going to add this text right here. And this text is going to say current city intro. And that way they know a little bit about where they're going. A, you know, a little bit of an uh, introduction about the city. And I'm going to show you exactly what it means. And next, I'm going to add a couple of buttons, right? So this is the first button is going to say this button. This button is going to have the C stuff, right? So we're going to say this button, C. I'm going to remove this plus. I'm going to copy and paste this button. We're going to make it actually on one line. And these buttons are going to be linked to the respective screens, okay? So we have detail, and this is the intro of the city. Now, if they click on C, it's going to add an action. It's going to be a link to C. And we're passing the current city, which is perfect. Same thing for the eat. We're going to add an action, and we're going to link to eat. And we're also passing the current city. And then sleep, we're going to make just a bit bigger. Perfect. We're going to add an action link to sleep. Sleep, okay? And we're passing the current city. So now when we run the app, it's going to be perfect because when we click on this, they get the, all the information about the city. We have the intro. We have more information. And once they click on a lot of these other things, uh, they are going to go to the respective screen. So let me, let's preview this app. Let's, and so if I run this app, it's going to work beautifully, right? We click on Santa Monica. We get information. I click on eat. I see the things that I can eat. I can click on it if I want. I can call in whatever I want. If you run this again, and let's say I pick a different city. Okay, I pick San Francisco, and this time I scroll down. I go into sleep. I have our hotels here, right? And these are going to be the links. So we need to make sure they're linkable. We're going to go in here. We're going to change home. And we are going to say, instead of title, this is going to have city name. This is going to have current city name. And this is what sleep. Okay? Or something like this even. You can do that just to make it a little bit more consistent. This is going to say uh, current city, current city name. And this is going to be it. Okay? So that it's all a little bit different. The same thing here. This is going to be current city name, and this is going to be C. All right, and this is just current city name. And so if we go in here, we want these to be linkable, right? This list needs to link, okay? So this is very, very important. So if, if they click on it, we want to redirect them to the URL. We're going to add an action. This is going to be a link to a website, and the website is going to be a URL here, okay? And the URL, for right now, we have google.com, so it's going to redirect to google.com, but I'm going to show you exactly where you can get your affiliate links. So if I go to San Diego and I scroll down, I go into sleep, right? And I click on it. It's going to go to google.com. Now, the question is, how do you promote it? Well, 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 it's actually very, very simple. You have hostel world. You can promote hostels. You have booking.com. You have booking.com affiliate program. You can also do hotels.com affiliate program, affiliate program right? And that's the main ones. You have hotels, join the hotels.com affiliate program. You have Hostels World affiliate program. You also have Airbnb affiliate program, right? Airbnb affiliate program where you can just send them a link to different places in that particular city. You don't even need to do crazy things. You don't even need to list hotels. You can just redirect them directly to that city. Or you can link individual listings as well. Airbnb affiliate program, right? You can go in here. There is the Airbnb Associates program, right? That, that is what they're calling. And so you have four different affiliate programs, okay? You have Hostel World, you have Hotels.com, you have Booking.com, and then you have Airbnb. I would recommend just using Hostel World, Airbnb, and Hotels.com. These are the main ones. Now, guys, you can do so many things with this app. And the beautiful thing about this app is that how easy it is to promote it, right? This is super easy to promote it. You just created an app for 
California, right? So you can even call it something like, so we can go into branding. You have your colors. You can do it maybe in California colors. You can do your own color schemes. You can change this, uh, maybe red, something like that. That looks pretty cool. Red and yellow, that looks really nice. You can go into settings and you can change this California or California in your pocket something like that and right away you have all the main cities you have the, your description you can have an icon and then we're done when you're done you can click on share and you can share this app i call it travel app you can re rename it and you can scan to install and then you can go to all of these travel forms that are focused on california very very simple take a look at this california travel forums you can go in here and you can find all of this TripAdvisor, four doors Visit California, all of these, and these are all forums, right? You can do Northern California, travel forums. You can do Southern California, and you can say, hey, I created this app that you can use, that you can plan your travel in California. It's all inside, and the best part is 100% free. And so when they run this app, they can go into here, and you know, obviously you can rename it. It's called Travel App right now, Travel App. You can rename it all you want, right? It's it's all customizable, right? Everything is totally customizable. You can do wh whatever you want with it. So I can call it California Travel, something like this, right? And now, now I have it renamed. So when I preview it, you know, I can do all kinds of things. And you can preview it on an iPhone, on a Galaxy, on an iPad, all of these places. So if I go to Santa Monica, I can do all this. And you can add, all you have to do is basically modify it here, save it, upload it, and you're going to have new data. So you can take it as far as you want. And obviously, these are going to be affiliate links that you're going to get from one of these programs or all of that program. And you can also promote hostels. You can promote hotels. You can promote all of that together. You know, hostels could be for budget travelers. Hotels could be for people with a little bit more money. They want a little bit more luxury. All right, guys, so you can take it as far as you want. This is an amazing, an amazing way to promote all kinds of crazy affiliate programs, you know, without direct linking and none of that other bullshit. All right, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know if I can help in any way. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content, and I will see you in the next video.